just finished watching Dallas Cowboys versus the Chicago Bears. We all seen the game right now. Tony Romo, five interceptions. Five. Now, I was just watching El Presidor's video. He touted Dallas Cowboys, NFL's best joke. I put a comment up in there, and I said, I thought Sanchez was bad, but Romo is 20 times worse. Mad people replied to me. A whole bunch of them say, yo, you were right. Kashi, man, you were the man. I was, I'm like, Romo is garbage. Garbage. Dallas Cowboys at home? I don't even think that's their home field advantage. It seemed like Jerry built that for the opposing team for them to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Because the Cowboys are not good at home. They are not good at home. And then it was like it was like a year or two ago where they was talking about Romo and Eli. Do not put Romo and Eli in the same sentence. That's how you try to compare greatness to garbage. Robo is not the answer at quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. And to, and to make matters worse, look at this. Robo threw a touchdown pass, uh, you know, to Miles Austin, breaking, uh, he passed Stallback's record for most touchdowns, right? Now, Stallback watching the game all the way up in the press box, you know, with binoculars looking down at the field. See Robo throw all of these interceptions, Right, he must be like, yo, I really did this bum really passed me, him, an undrafted guy. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? His first interception, he must have some type of miscommunication with Des Bryant. I'm telling you right now, because when he threw that, all I saw was nothing but Bears jerseys all over. Tillman just got that and ran with it touchdown second one I mean this is what I don't understand this you have a running back that is good enough to get you good positive yardage if you go to the outside he's gonna break loose because he's fast enough and you don't give it to him enough and you was talking about I'm gonna establish the run you kept passing it and passing it till it came to the point where you kept passing it too much and what happened? It bounced off of Des Bryant, Chess, or whoever it was. It bounced off of somebody. And then one of the Bears guys just said, Oh, thank you. I'm going to take this. Let me go down right here. And here was another turning point. Jay Cutler. Fumbled the ball. Demarcus Ware. He's a beast. Dallas recovered it. Then, question Tony Romo's um, mental toughness. Can he overcome, you know, the interception? Got the ball. You're under pressure. Why are you going to try and switch the ball between right to left, knowing that a guy is coming on to you, and then he hits you, you the ball goes forward because it's a forward pass, interception, Lance breaks, runs it back, touchdown. I don't understand it. And the thing about it is, the interceptions that Tony Romo threw later on in the third quarter going into the fourth uh, fourth quarter the Bears were playing cover two they were playing cover two they wasn't playing man to man they left the receivers why bother covering them why go man to man against them they're not going to catch the ball there's Brian he dropped a whole bunch of passes the only consistent Dallas Cowboy tonight was Jason Witten and he wanted to get the monkey off of his back because he was in a slump. He wanted to get the monkey off his back. He wanted to get a couple of catches to get himself going. This guy had over 10 receptions, 143 yards, and a touchdown. Wasted. Wasted. That effort just gone. Why? Dallas Cowboys lost. And I'm watching the press, um, the pregame right now, and they're talking about it. Romo, 31 for 43. 307 yards, one touchdown, five interceptions. Garbage. 307 yards. Eli could put a 400 in his sleep. 
Romo is garbage. Garbage. I don't know where their home field advantage is. To be honest with you, I don't know where it is. And to make matters worse, they got to go and play Baltimore. In Baltimore, I think. What, what, what's Romo going to do there? He going to throw six interceptions, man? <laughs> I mean, it, this is just so funny to me. And I'm watching this. I mean, both of them ain't none of my teams. I mean, if I had to choose between Dallas and the, the Bears, I'm going to go Bears all the way because I like Jay Cutler more than Tony Romo anyway. But, I mean, man. <laughs> this shit is flat out amazing. Oh, oh, see, they're lucky. They got a buy. And then after that, they got to go and play the Ravens. So I don't even think the buy is going to help them anyway. What is that going to do? They're going to tell, the, tell Robo, yo, you got to cut down on the interceptions, man. Five interceptions, that, that ain't going to cut it. <laughs> that buy ain't going to help one bit. And then after that, they're going to play the Ravens, the Panthers, then the Giants again. We gonna show you how we handle shit at our place. Y'all may got the season opener against us, winning that first game. Y'all took it like y'all won the Super Bowl. We still handle our stuff. I I I don't know. I, it's like I said, I thought Sanchez was bad in that on San Francisco 49ers game, but this one, oh man, Romo, you you passed Sanchez, man. I mean, five interceptions. And the thing about this, I thought you was going to throw pick number six, but nah, you got yanked out of there. Freaking, what you call it, Kyle Orton came in there and provided the other touchdown. <laughs> oh, man. Tony Romo, please. The guy is a joke. He's garbage. I don't know why Dallas is still holding on to him, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I don't know what they see in Tony Romo. I don't see anything in Tony Romo. I don't. You give me Eli any time of the week. I'll take Eli over Robo any day of the week. And just to, to, this is another footnote right here. America's team. You know who's America's team right now? If you want to talk about with the whole Texas type of thing. The Houston Texans are America's team. They are undefeated. If you take Dallas Cowboys and you match them up with Houston... The Texans will run Dallas out of their own place. Just for supremacy on which team is better. The Texans are better than the Cowboys. Matt Schaub is better than Tony Romo. Romo, I... Oh, man. I, this game. I, uh, watch. Watch. In a couple of hours. Not even a couple of hours. Probably like six or seven hours. I may just watch ESPN first take. And Skip Bayless is going to try to make up something to be like, you know what, it was the wide receiver's fault. They couldn't catch the ball. Tony Romo was throwing all this stuff. And Stephen A's going to be like, yo, Romo is garbage. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. That Romo is garbage. <laughs> That's all it is. They ain't winning no Super Bowl with Tony Romo. They ain't going to. You better get another quarterback. You, better, you might as well go get Troy Aikman. Even, I bet you at his age, he's still better than Tony Rose.